Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Grace. Last time I talked about how to pronounce zhi, chi, shi, yu, these Chinese consonants. And today I will teach you how to pronounce ji, qi, xi correctly. I will tell you their tongue positions and the differences between them. Plus, I will compare ji, qi, xi with zhi, chi, shi, which will help you distinguish these sounds. Let's go. The star was the easiest one. Xi. By the way, I will add zhu in, which is the phonetic symbols we use in Taiwan next to the pinyin. Okay, same as the last time, let's look at the IPA first. If this is your first time watching my video, you might not know what IPA is. So if you're wondering about this, you can take a look at my previous video. I put it here. Okay, the IPA of Xi is this one. This symbol represents a tongue position like this. The first things you need to do is put the tip of your tongue down behind the bottom of your T and then move the front part of your tongue towards the position pointed out here. More specifically, this position is before the palate and after the alveolar. So move the front part of your tongue towards here. But remember, do not touch it, just like the picture shows. And also you have to pay attention to your lips. Your lips should spray wide, like you are smelling. And let the air out. Xi. Okay, practice with me. Xi. 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 Okay, next one. Ji. The IPA of Ji is this one. Now you can recognize this symbol. It means that Ji and Xi both have the same tongue position. So when you want to make the Ji sound, you can put your tongue in the same position as Xi, like the picture shows. Also, your lips should spray wide. The difference between Ji and Xi is that, as you can see, there is an extra symbol T here. It means that to pronounce this Ji sound, you need to block the air in your mouth first. So here is the way to block the air. You let the front part of your tongue stick to the position I point out and then let the air go through your mouth. At this moment, because your tongue is blocking the way, the air cannot go out like this. Then the next things you need to do is let the front part of your tongue go down a bit and let the air out to say Ji. Okay, let's practice together. Ji. Ji. Qi. The final one is Qi. This one is pretty similar with the previous one. Qi. So in order to tell the difference between them, let's take a look at their IPA first. They both have this and this. Mainly their tongue positions are exactly the same and to pronounce them, you have to block the air first. And you might notice that the only difference is that Qi has an extra symbol H. This small H means that when you pronounce this sound, you need to exhale more strongly. Everything else is just the same as Ji. Okay, let's practice. Qi. 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 After learning how to make these sounds, let's figure out the differences between Ji Qi Xi and Zhi Chi Shi. If you haven't watched my previous video about zhi chi shi yet, I suggest you go through it first because after watching that, it will be more easy to understand what I'm about to say. Okay, let's get into it. Generally speaking, the tone position of these two sound groups are different. When pronouncing zhi, chi, shi, you should curl the tip of your tongue to the positions pointed out in the picture. On the other hand, when you pronounce ji, qi, xi, the tip of your tongue is behind the bottom of your T, like this. Let's practice to distinguish zhi and ji, chi and qi, shi and xi together. First, let's start with zhi and ji. It can take you a little time to think about their tongue positions and the differences between them. Okay, now practice with me. 直行, 
执行，畸形，畸形，日志，日志，日记。日记 Remember that although these two sounds have different tone positions, you have to block the air in your mouth first for both of them. Next, let's practice. 吃 and 期迟到迟到期到期到机翅机翅机器机器 When pronouncing these two sounds, remember to exhale more strongly than with 之 and 期 The last one is 失 and 惜 Okay, think about their tongue positions first. When pronouncing these two sounds, you don't have to block the air. You just put your tongue at the right position and then let the air out. Let's practice. 潮湿潮湿潮汐，潮汐，演示，演示，演戏，演戏。Okay, this is today's lesson. If you just started learning Chinese, it will definitely take you some time to get used to these tongue positions. Just keep on practicing; you will pronounce them well eventually. And if you want to get the information of this lesson, you can go to my Instagram and find the handout. I will see you next time. Bye.